Hi all and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the monetization of The First Descendant. For those who don't know, please check out my other video first, where I explain everything you need to know about the game in under three minutes. But in short, it's a free-to-play third-person looter shooter. Personally, I rarely play games that are pay to progress, excluding some mobile games I play on the toilet. Not that I have a problem with these games or with pay to win games, I mean, to each their own. It's just that I personally feel like I'm not getting the full experience because I'm not paying. That makes this video about the first descendant even more painful for me because the game is definitely both pay to win and pay to progress. Why am I calling this painful? because I really like the game, at least from a first impression. That's why this might be the first pay to win and pay to progress game. I'm going to give an honest shot. Also, there's not much new stuff to play now anyway, so why not? By the way, please don't blame the messenger by downvoting. Instead, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe for bringing you this information. In the background, you have seen me scrolling through the store. The game has multipliers that let you get your resources much quicker, including those for crafting and EXP for mastery points. On top of that, you can buy your ultimate descendant immediately, and they come with a power boost. You can also buy rare mods directly, giving you a clear advantage, at least at the start. A big question mark here is whether the game is balanced towards paying or if you can easily play through all of it without paying. That's something I do not know yet, but it does matter. There is also no PvP, which helps alleviate the situation. Assuming you don't get pushed into paying for power or convenience, it can still remain tons of fun. It's just that nagging feeling in the back of your head that if you pay, it goes quicker. Normally, that's enough for me to skip the game. In this case though, I will make an exception, and I'm ready to be pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's at least free to play anyway. To summarize, yes, it's pay to win and pay to progress, but it's too soon to say if you are forced to pay. I would love to know what you think of the monetization in the first Descendant, and if that is a reason for you to skip it, or if you are planning to play. That was it for this video. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.